Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Ba Chen. I'm Nima Kong. I'm Ban Chan. In this class, I'll read to all of your part of Ulysses. Ass. Ah. Oh. Ulysses. James Joyce. Chapter seven, sec five. He said, "The world is before you." Back in our time, Mr. Bim said, hurrying at Jay. Jay. Omawe took the tissues from Lenhin's hand and read them, blowing them apart gently, without comment. I'll get that advertisement," the professor said, staring through his black-rimmed spectacles over the crisp blend. Look at the young scamps after him. Go. Where? Lenehan cried, running to the window. Both smiled over the crisp blend at the file of capering newsboys in Mr. Bloom's wake. The last zigzagging white on the breeze, a mocking kite. A tail of white bock nuts. Look at the young got a snip behind him, hue and cry. Lenehan says, "And you'll kick." Oh, my reversible. Taking off his flat spokes and the walk. Small nines. Steal up on larks. Fireplace to Jay. Jay. Omoi who placed the tissues in his receiving hands. What's that? Miles Crawford said with a start. Where are the other two going? Who? The professor said. Turning. They are going round to the Oval for a drink. Paddy Hooper is there with Jackal. Came over last night. Come on then, Miles Crawford said. Where's my hat? He walked jerkily into the office behind, parting the vent of his jacket, jingling his keys in his back pocket. Door. This pretty well on. Professor Macock said in a low voice. Seems to be. Jay. Jay. Omalo said, taking out a cigarette case and murmuring meditation. But it is not always as it seems. Who has the most matches? He offered a cigarette to the professor and took one himself. Then him promptly struck a match for them and lit their cigarettes in turn. Jay. Jay. Omoi opened his case again and offered it. Thank you, Vus. Lenehan says, helping himself. The editor came from the inner office. A straw hat awry on his brow. He declaimed in song, pointing sternly at Professor Macog. Twas rank and fame that tempted thee. Twas empire charmed thy heart. The professor grinned, locking his long lips. There, you bloody old Roman empire, Miles Crawford said. He took a cigarette from the open case. Then Anne, thy Jane Ephraim with great grace. Then to silence for my brand new riddle. Infrium Romanum. Jay. Jay. Omoloi said gently. It sounds noble than British or Brixton. The word reminds one somehow of fat in the fire. Miles Crawford blew his verse profoundly towards the ceiling. That's it. He said. We are the fat. 
You and I are the fat in the fire. We haven't got the chance of a snowball in hell. Wait a moment. Professor Macook said. Raising two quiet cause. We mustn't be led away by words. By sounds of words. We think of Rome. Imperial. Imperious. Imperative. He extended elocutionary arms from frayed stained shirts off. Pauline. What was their civilization? What? Ilo. What file? Cloaker. Sewers. The Jews in the wilderness and on the mountain top said, It is me to be here. Let us build an altar to Jehovah. The Roman. Like the Englishman who follows in his footsteps. Never said it only his cloakal obsession. He gazed about him in his toga and he said, It is me to be here. Let us construct a waiter closed. Which they accordingly did do. Lenin said, Our old ancient ancestors. As we read in the first chapter of Genesis, were partial to the running stream. They were nature's gentlemen. Jay. Jay. Omala murmured. But we have also Roman law. And Pontius Pilate is its prophet. Professor Michael responded. Do you know that story about Chief Baron Powell's? Jay. Jay. Omaloy asked. It was at the Royal University dinner. Everything was going swimmingly. First my riddle. Lenin said. Are you ready? Mr. Middenbrick. Tall and copious grey of Donegal Tweed. Came in from the hallway. Stephen Didalus. Behind him. Uncovered as he entered. And Tres. Miss Infants. Then I cried. I escort a suppliant. Mr. O'Madden Burke said melodiously. You fled by experience visits notoriety. How do you do? The editor said. Holding out a hand. Come in. Your governor is just gone. Eh. Lenahan said to all. Silence. What opera resembles a railway line? Reflect. Pondo. Excogitate. Apply. Stephen handed over the type sheets. Pointing to the title and signature. Who? The editor asked. Bit torn off. Mr. Garrett Deasy. Stephen said. That old Pultos. The editor said. Who tore it? Was he short taken? He comes. Hail vampire. Math to my math. Good day. Stephen. The professor said. Coming to peer over their shoulders. Foot and mouth. Are you turned? Bullock befriending bird. Good day. So. Stephen answered blushing. The letter is not mine. Mr. Garrett Deasy asked me to. Well. I know him. Miles Crawford said. And I knew his wife too. The buddiest old tartar god ever made. By Jesus. She had the foot and mouth disease and no mistake. 
The night she threw the soup in the waiter's face in the stirring garter. Oh, yeah. A woman brought sin into the world. For Helen. The runaway wife of Menelaus. Ten years the Greeks. Orked. Prince of Brefni. Is he a door? Stephen asked. Uh, a grass wand. Miles Crawford said. To be continued.